Hello everybody, my name is Brockton, and today we are back with some more Game of Thrones. We're into episode 5, and then there's going to be episode 6, and that'll be us done with Game of Thrones. Let's move, move on to the next Telltale game. I do love loading screens. So much. Loading screens are great. Previously on Game of Thrones. I can set it for me then, why don't you? You'd help the second sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't. Of course. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city. Help them liberate Marine. And I will see that you are rewarded. You think you get a reason with a wardling? Yeah, I do. Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Oh, then he got the shit kicked out of him, didn't he? Don't move. Oh yeah, it's his sister in it. This is my sister, Sylvie. Ah. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And yeah. someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. Yeah, you are. I decided to come see for myself. So we're gonna start off with Garrod or Roderick. That was my next guess. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me, and Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or oh, that's not happening. Your mother. A flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that. You killed mm -hmm. Ethan. You killed our brother. I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. <laughs> you won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not it. going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. I honestly want him on my side. feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. God damn it. Whatever your name, Ramsey. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> oh, that's just not funny. Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. I've locked Griff them up. Griff and his men are under guard. 
They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glen. Oh, no. I'm not sure how you managed that. I knew I couldn't trust the Whitehills, so I asked the Glenmores to keep the peace. You don't need the Glenmores. You have the protection of the Warden of the North. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Oh, God. You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. He's a fucking scumbag. Someone has to pay. You didn't think it would be you. Your yeah, sister King's has Land. influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. Look at what you've done. Me? I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! You pay for this, Ramsey! Look at him, Talia. Bloody hell. See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Rosie. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? Fuck. This is his fault. My fault? Fuck you. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> I'll see you dead for this! And okay. that, Talia, is why no one likes your brother. That's not very nice. Ah, the poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? A little bit. Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. This is gonna get me. Come on, Roderick. This is gonna get me killed. It's gonna get me killed. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. We'll win this house fight. Forrester we will. will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> Oh, God. Can't leave a job half finished. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Oh, God. So where's our people, then?
Game of Thrones. Episode 5, A Nest of Vipers. Wow. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. So I kept him alive, at least. Fucking monster. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsey's a Ramsey monster. Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire north. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsey. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right we about still the army from the south... Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we is can... he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. We're about to get a ship. Let me blame, through. Elena. Roderick, tell me where he. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No. Arthur, no. Arthur. It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself. He did this for me. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. People die. That shit happens. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay, Ramsay Snow did this, he's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. Don't blame me, you cheeky been your cow. allies. Elena. I'm sorry. Oh God. Oh, Let's get you someplace, Paul. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Oh, this is deep. Where do I find the strength? No, just we'll, we'll have our justice we will. someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. Nothing will. Let's see some fancy schmancy shit Garrett can do. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. Don't friends on me, you bitch. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. You're not alone. I'm not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Oh, 
we're changing characters. Oh, we're at fucking King's Landing. This is the most boring one. Ah, oh, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk. Defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros. In front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course. And she knew exactly. Here was one yelling. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. I'm sure you gave him good reason. Bitch. Just as you do everyone. Everyone in this section Marjorie is a bitch Cupid. except Mira who can't. You can't basically do shit without her little not boyfriend. Safe for me to be around you anymore. Tom. What? Mira. You're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now, with Garibald refusing to talk to me, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. Marjorie is my only protection without him. I can't Making afford to fall from her good graces. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Marjorie, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Of course you are, of course you are. You cheeky bitch. Is it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. You're still You're in still danger. In very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Better go before she sees me. She will You're a forester. Fuck. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Fuck. Marjorie's a bitch and I hope she dies. She's done something. She didn't look bothered at all. Well then, we succeeded. You're still angry at me? What do you think? I think I deserve a little gratitude. He's dead. I shouldn't care how it happened. It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Was that a thank you? Is that your way of saying thank you? It's the best you're going to get. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asha, you're... I don't want to talk to you again, you cheeky bitch. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Definitely shagged her. Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Meereen, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Kill the slave master. We encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Because I'm fucking Asher Forrester. Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. 
It was I'm the heat waiting. of battle. It was the heat of battle. A soldier must keep his head in a fight. You disobeyed me. I didn't, I didn't discuss You disappoint me, Forrester. Oh, fuck. I will not be giving you my second son. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. Your grace, we risked our lives for you. And you risk them again with your tongue. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. Now get out. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. No, come on. Nothing to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. We need that Targaryen alliance. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered her, she may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about. We can't trust admit. her, we can't. She broke her word, Uncle. Not without her reasons. She did it once, she could easily do it again. Maybe. But this alliance might be worth the risk. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them well, we let it the be white fun. Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the queen. Don't get yourselves killed. Oh, wait, don't so, worry. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Maybe. A new crack for them. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? Oh, indeed. But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross the bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going North. We're going South. To join Mance. And the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That I can't go always South. The plan, Sorry, it's Potter. illegal. I can't go South. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? What does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Bitch. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Wildlings. Some tattles. wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, Mr. Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well... Well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed. 
point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and wildies. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. Well, Finn's gonna you die. You should though. listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. She's a bitch. Far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. Okay. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. I can't. I need to, like, chase after them. Come. Right, come on. I need to get Finn on my side, though. Come on. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. I suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. What am I meant to do then? Wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. An ice spider, that sounds fucking terrifying. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. So I can't go after her. We looked in the hut. Have we talked to Cotter? Got it. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister. I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. <laughs> My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest Albino of the thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse. <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. 
but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wild links. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. How's your arm? How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, actually. Where's your mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village, for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrid. I mean it. You get your but sister to be a bitch. Leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. Well, I'm. So, what am I meant to do? For... Well, I've already spoken to Cotter. Okay, I'll be fine, thing. Garrett. You don't have to keep looking at me like that. Well, so where do I go from here? Okay, well, if we look back in Sylvia's hut, look up a bit more, look around, look at the corners, look at all this. Oh. Oh. Well, it's not so bad. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. So what can I do then? There is nothing I can do. What can I do? Oh. Don't know why you'd want this around. There is nothing that I can do. Ah! Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Yeah, I figured. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. I'm not a crow anymore. I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Shh. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to yeah. use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit then. Ha. Uh. Nice, 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 not nice. Not bad for a crow. You'll do nicely, little one. Ah, oh, be enough. enough. <laughs> You've ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Come on. Come on. You're gonna f thought yeah, it was about to jump when I clicked it. May not be as good as the feast you're used to at the wall, but we won't starve. 
That's for sure. Good. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. Hmm. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone family, the Lord you couldn't Forrester. Live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my old life. I lost everything. My old life. My house. All I ever wanted was to fight for the Foresters. This house. It was important to you. They treated me like one of their own. Cotter and I. We lost everything too. I never and we nearly to lost me. each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Do you know where it is, then? I know where they say it is. But you'd be mad to try and go there. Why is that? Yeah, why is that? A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Wow. Maybe they stayed. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck is that ugly thing? Oh yeah, of course you have to change character the interesting point. This oh, we're back to this place. shit too. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't I expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. You speak their language. We didn't part on the best of terms. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. I mean, loot some, of course. Now I'm gonna look at that. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. They don't like us coming here uninvited. It will hardly matter who they see first. Uh... Well, if it isn't Beskar, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Huh. 
That was a mistake. <laughs> okay, never mind that wasn't. I like this one. Hey, Amaya! Company! I guess things worked out well for me then. Except all the corpses and shit. I mean, that doesn't matter. Is that a pit? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits. Where things could get really nasty. Oh god, oh no, what is this? What's going on with this audio? That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I'll come with an offer. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once. The Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. Deal with me. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? I want an army, bitch. Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> <laughs> Cast cannibals in your fucking spoons. My patience wears thin. My Where enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them. <laughs> You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we For the follow anyone of war. ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, the way I left was terrible, I know. But we were friends once. And could be again. Yeah, could be. Please, set aside your anger and listen to him. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right, who? Can I <laughs> His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Looks like a bit of a bender to me. Oh, I've never I'm seen sorry, that's offensive. Take a good look then. But when you'll join if me. If I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Well, there's about to be a first. Mm. Right. Well, 
Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. That's a bit gay. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll drink enough ale to drown a horse. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. Fuck. You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. You fight dirty. I like that. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. Maybe oh, this shit. fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. Uh, use that. That's more my style. Oh, I, need to be, I need to not not die in this. This is gonna hurt. The oh, fuck. Yours will be a beautiful death. Fuck. Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can actually. <laughs> Ah, uh, you fucked up now, haven't you? For that, you die slow. That's no. Lucille from The Walking Dead, boys. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Uh, wrong one. <laughs> Press the wrong one, but now I have to solve it. Over the head, over the head. Son of a whore! Why would I grab an See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Oh fuck, I missed it, but it's okay. Fuck me. Where is all this needless violence? <laughs> Fuck move. I nearly missed. Kill him.
Your stupid game. Your stupid rules. Yeah, impressed him. Your old champion is gone. As are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. Offer you a new life. I offer you all a new life. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight for something greater. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocence and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you. Hurrah. I think I did pretty well in that, actually. Oh, over here! Over here! What the fuck is that? They're like a zombie or something. Or a walker. Like, from the walking dead. Or a white walker. What the fuck? They won't die! Anything could be killed! No, no, Finn, Finn, Finn. No, 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 no. Finn's gonna die. What the actual fuck? I'd react the same way if I was honest. I'll cut his head off. Never mind. Pick it up then. Pick it up! Where's Finn? He was over there. Oh, Finn was Finn. all right. to stick together go then Run. No. I hope you're right about this Garrett those things are fucking terrifying yep new character oh we're back in King's Landing brilliant Cersei. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. Never been here. Grace. 
No. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. It only matters Assuming what an you honest think. person exists in King's Landing. It only matters what you think, Your Grace. Don't try my patience. Insincerity will only make matters worse for you. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yeah. Yet. Yet. Morgan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Is anyone, though? Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. I was looking for an Andros. We're going like, to be I had to speak with Lord Andros, Your Grace. It was urgent. Lord Andros? I don't imagine he'd appreciate being approached by a person of your stature. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. Okay. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I so. must, Your Grace. I think yeah. we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Perhaps I can. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favour to the Crown, for which we will all... It would be my pleasure. I would be happy to, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here, leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have. <sighs> Come on. I was angry. But you're my family, no matter what. Yeah. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. I think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi. They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Not from my house. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. We're gonna have to kill them, aren't we? Aren't we? Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. Hey, Stein. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. 
Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. Good. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Bye, Malcolm. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Thanks, cunt. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. I we were friends, Lord Tyrion. Come as a friend. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of... A little weren't hurt. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I was worried, worried about, about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. Yeah, because you're pretty cool. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it at all. Whenever you're ready. ready. Whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me, Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. Are you toying, Are with, you me? toying with me? I might ask you the same question. Now tell me the truth. Admit it. She left me no choice. She never does. Least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. I, I owe truth. him the truth. Him? He's nothing now. I'm still a Lannister. And I know plenty of men who'd happily slit your throat. Now, give us a moment. We're not done talking. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. Oh, I know then. exactly what I'm doing. Oh, clearly. Which is why you're here. Doing her bidding. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? 
I doubt she'd be pleased. Don't care if she To thinks. be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. Am I? What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help. I need something better. I have to tell her something. Then lie. Tell her I intend to call Sansa. Varys, Jamie. Give her a list of names and be done with it. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out. Now. I wish you well, Lady Mira. Bye. Be have careful fun. who you trust. New character. What's your leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. My only regret, regret is what happened to your brother. If I'd only... Please, let's not talk about Arthur. Not now. Did they, uh... Click, click. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, we'll what be, we are? You know. We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff, not his father, not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realise you two were... I mean, I didn't realise she it's was... All right. It's all right. It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And it's it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon. I hope. All right then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the that grove. Way. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. Well, what am I meant to look for? This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held. It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. He said he saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. Who is it then? You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons, but no reason is good enough. Just tell it's me. It's your duty to tell me, and mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I promise. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Mm, I don't like it. Go 
we'll get the guards. Who is it then? Oh no. It isn't. Hey? Oh, my lord. You scared the bloody daylights out of What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Start talking. Yes. I have been working with the White Hills. But you only because traitor. you stopped listening to reason. Did I now? You pushed me to this, Roderick. Don't make you excuses. You dare start making excuses. Excuses? Are you that naive? Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Going to High Point without any soldiers, despite my every warning. Shying away at every turn from a war you know is coming. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Royland! You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the father trusted truth. you. You betrayed us all, Royland! My father included! I've held true to what I believed, which is more than I can say for you. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Have him Just killed. sentence me and be done with it. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick. What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. And I'll tell you everything. Do it. I have to. I'll spare your life. Now talk. You're a bigger coward than he is. We need to know. cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! You must protect Asher. Protect the true lord of this house. Take this traitor away. Get your hands off me. What Royland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Go after the coast. Prepare the horses. We ride for the coast. is going to be intense next episode. You smell that? We're almost there, Beska. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? 
They don't know him. The Lord sounds an awful man like a master. Thing. Doesn't matter if Roderick's Lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Huh? You may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Hmm. Point taken. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? Fuck. So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher. Thank the gods you've made it back. You look, you look better. better. This is really weird. No time for small talk, bro. How am I not playing as Roderick? Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. What? Oh no, oh no. Get that gate open! Well then. Asha, no! It's been a while since I killed any White Hills. It's making me really nervous now. <laughs> Fuck me, what the Out of my way! <laughs> it won't go further! <laughs> oh. Asha! You have to get out of there! Looks like it's up to us! Shit. Shit, no, no, no. Asha. Oh no. We're not choosing one of them to die, are we? Raise the gate! They've got us outnumbered! Oh, shit! Come on, no, 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 One of us has to stay! Oh! <gasps> no! Big brother. Big brother stays, Roderick. My lord, you must hurry! We can't lose you! Asha! We need to Come on! No. My lord, you have to get out of there. No. <laughs> the army will follow us. Wait for you. You can't fucking die now. We need you. No. No, 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 no. Go, Roderick. I know what I'm doing. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. No. Go! You bastard! Basker. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? 
I came here for you! We're supposed to fight together, always! Sister, no. you're my family. As much as Roderick, as much as any of them. You asshole. Rip their fucking hearts out! <laughs> Come on. Fuck. Not now. Kill him. Kill him. Come on. Come on, no, come on. I think I made the wrong choice. We can't throw the house into thermal. So, you and 63.4% of players did not try to stab Ramsey Snow, because I'd probably die. You and 37% of players told Tyrion that Cersei sent you. But Cersei's a bitch, why would he not want to? You 42% of players chose to imprison the traitor. But then what would happen after that? Oh, squad would have died. You and 39.5% of players had Ash stay behind. I guess because Roderick is needed, I chose, but. Asher leads the army, mate. That, that was an incredibly difficult choice. I have a mind.